guys, what's up? My name is Gabby and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing part two of my living room makeover. If you haven't checked out part one, definitely check it out. In that video, I went ahead and showed you guys what my living room looked like before and what I wanted it to be. I also did a home goods shop with me and haul, so definitely check it out. I will have the video linked down in the description bar below and also up in the cards. In today's video, I'm actually gonna be decorating and styling my living room and showing you all the final reveal. So definitely stick around to the end to see the living room reveal. If you like this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up, comment down below with what your favorite part was, and don't forget to hit subscribe if you like all things home decor. Now, let's get on with part two of the living room makeover. So as I mentioned in part one of my living room makeover, I've been on the hunt for a new pillow for my couch. I've had these pillows for quite some time. There's nothing wrong with them, they're just pretty old, and so I wanted to find a new pillow to replace it or a pillow cover to cover it up. I had no luck finding any, so I decided to pass by Joanne Fabrics to see if I could find any fabric that I liked to potentially make my own pillowcase. And I actually came across this fabric. It's just this pretty uh, off-white, thick fabric. It's pretty basic, has like a little bit of a different stitch, I guess. I don't know, I'm really bad at explaining things like this. But I'm gonna go ahead and make a pillow cover out of it. This is my first time making any sort of pillow cover or using my sewing machine, so let's see how it works out. Wow, I made a pillowcase all by myself! So this is how my pillow cover ended up coming out. I really, really like it. It was actually surprisingly easy. I ended up doing a flap over it. Unfortunately, I didn't end up picking up enough fabric, so I was only able to make one pillowcase, which is fine. I'll just have the other pillow out until I find another pillow that I like. This was actually surprisingly easy. I was thinking about actually putting a tutorial in this video, but I decided against it just because you guys didn't come here for a pillowcase but if you guys are interested in learning how I did that definitely comment down below letting me know all right so now that the pillowcase is made I'm gonna go ahead and finish styling up the living room I want to put the new pillowcases that I bought and made on my pillows finish up styling the coffee table I also want to put up the shelf that I bought from Ikea and pop my plant into my plant. put my plant into its plant stand this is actually my first time potting a plant so let's see how it turns out every other time i've had my dad's help so i'm gonna go ahead and style the living room and show you guys the final reveal about as good as it's gonna get you can hardly see it so whatever I'll just have it faced this way now I'm gonna go ahead and put my snake plant into this pot and I'll show you guys how I do that Remember when I was potting the plant and I said I was so proud of myself because I did this and my dad was gonna be so proud of me well, I called my dad just now and I showed him what I did and he was like, you did this completely wrong. So apparently pots that have holes at the bottom, if they're indoor plants, they have to have a plate or no hole at all because the water is gonna go through the bottom, which makes sense. I'm so stupid. Now I have to unpot this plant that I just went through this whole thing of potting, put it back in the plastic container it was in, and then, uh. Hi, 
guys have me. Come check it out. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Yesterday, I ended up putting up the shelf, which ended up being a lot more complicated than we thought. I had some help from my boyfriend, and when I say I have some help, I mean my boyfriend did it for me. I also had a mini meltdown because I planted my plant wrong, and then I kind of high-key destroyed it, but it's okay. So this is what I ended up doing to my plant. I don't, I don't know. It's just like loose in here. And so I'm really hoping that it'll be okay. As you can see, I totally planted it way too lopsided and I, I didn't want to mess with it anymore because I had already at that point planted and repotted it like twice. So hopefully my dad will be able to come and rescue it. Okay, so I flipped the plant and it looks much better. It's not sticking out as much. So that's good. So I think I'm finally at a place where I'm ready to show you guys the living room. I will link as much things as I can down below. If I don't list it, unfortunately, that means that either A, I can't find it, or B, they're sold out, or C, I got it from Home Goods. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys the living room makeover in three, 